What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. As you can see, I'm not in Newport Beach. I am the complete opposite side of the country. I'm in Burlington, Vermont. I've never been here before, but I was invited by a company called Tiger who make electric PWCs to come and test them out. The weather has been pretty gnarly this morning, so we are gonna get some chop, but that's fine. I'm used to riding on the ocean. I am so excited about riding these fully electric carbon fiber PWCs. Say no more, let's go ride. So after a quick safety briefing from Anthony, I was ready to rip the orca out on the lake. Now, if you've ridden a PWC before, then you can basically hop on one of these and feel right at home. The controls are very simple and everything is clearly displayed on the big screen on the handlebars. Ooh, I am absolutely exhausted. These waves are wild. Honestly, this riding is probably harder than most of the ocean riding I do. What about the Orca? Well, I think it's awesome. Number one, is it fun? 100%. This is lighter and has a little bit less horsepower than my Fish Pro, and I can tell that. It definitely doesn't feel like it has the get up and go that Fish Pro does, but it also has 10 less horsepower. What I was expecting was when you got on the throttle that it would like really snap straight away, but the way that they've got the motor, you get on the throttle and then it takes off. It's not like really like snappy where you're gonna hit the throttle by accident and throw you off the back. It would be nice if we could get like a little bit more snap on the throttle. I love the way that this thing handles. It's very chuckable. I think because it's light, because it's short, because it has that shallower hull that I'm used to, it feels very whippy, which is a lot of fun. And essentially, this is made for playing on the lake. You come out, you ride it for an hour, two hours, go charge it, have some food, come back out, rip it again. This isn't something that you would use to go on long sends like I typically do. So I think for me, that's what's most exciting is it's fun just to get out and just ride something for the purpose of having fun rather than going somewhere on like a long mission. I do love how the dash looks. We've got this beautiful big screen here. Honestly, I haven't really been looking at it because I've been too busy watching the waves, but it's very easy to control. The dash is very nice. Everything's very comfortable. My only complaint would be that the throttle is perhaps a little bit long. I keep catching it on my middle finger here, but basically it is absolutely killer. And uh, I love this exposed carbon fiber. So yeah, my initial thoughts, very, very cool. A lot of fun to ride. Uh, I do want to go out and rip it a bit more. I think we're going to go head over that way, but just look at where we are. Isn't this gorgeous? Okay, so we're not going to ride anywhere because the guys have said there's a surprise, but I don't know what it is. I said, is it neon yellow? And they said no. Yeah, so what I did tell you when we did the training before is that for customer demos like this, we disable one of the drive modes. So we typically have three drive modes, not two. Uh -huh. We have range, sport, and wild. Wild? That's right. So on yours, it's disabled right now. Yeah, I noticed there was just two modes. Well, right around the corner there, you're gonna see my colleague Mike in a second. Uh-huh. And his craft has it enabled. So I, I get to ride the wild one? That's right. <laughs> we'll do a little switch. Yeah. And then you'll see what electric is all about. Okay, I like it. One, two, three. So, wild. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wild mode is everything. That, that is how it should feel. I was kind of riding it around going, this is cool, but it doesn't feel like 160 horsepower. Then they put me on this one with wild mode. This feels like 160 horsepower, every bit of it. It's so quick to pick up. Oh, I'm exhausted. This is, this is killer, yeah. 
wild mode is the way to ride these things for sure i don't care how short the battery life might be when you're doing it it is the most fun smiles per mile a hundred percent at their highest in wild mode Can we just take a second to appreciate that this is my job? <laughs> How did that happen? So after an hour on the water, which felt like five minutes, it was time to head back to the dock where the guys showed me how simple it was to charge the orca. With the power outlets you find at most docks and marinas, it'll take about an hour and a half to charge an orca from empty to 80%. So literally get back, have some lunch, and by the time you're done, you'll be back up to 80% and ready to rip again for another few hours. It was a shame I hadn't had the opportunity to test the high speed handling of the Orca in calmer conditions, but the following day did look perfect. So given that I'd flown across the entire country to test it out, that evening I plied the Tiger team with Coronas in the hope that they'd give me another ride in the morning. Good morning. I did. Yeah, slept very well, thank you. How about you guys? Okay, it's day two, we're back. The reason why is because yesterday was so splashy and it was so crazy that as much fun as it was jumping all of the waves, I really wanted to see what these things were like on the flat, in a straight line, high speed cornering, all that kind of stuff. And today, the conditions are perfect. It is glass out there. I cannot believe how much different it is now compared to yesterday. I mean, literally yesterday we were trying to dock these things to charge them and it was like this. It was like being in the middle of the ocean. So I am so pumped that I get this opportunity to test ride them again. Hopefully we'll be able to get back on the wild mode ski as well and really give it a rip and see what we can get top end. So uh, yeah, I am ready to go. I think we're just going to get the skis ready and we'll be out there. All right. It's still so wild that this is now on. So now that there's not as much like splashy waves, you can really get the feel for what it's like for them to be silent. Because yesterday it was so splashy going out that the fact that it wasn't making any noise didn't really uh, register because I was too busy trying not to get sunk by the waves coming in. It is such a like a surreal feeling. Yeah, it's wild. Just... <laughs> you can hear a very faint, just the spinning of the electric motor basically in the jet pump obviously pushing the water behind you. There's no vibration, very smooth. Yeah, it's very surreal. Trim is set to zero because it's so flat. If we put it to four, the nose comes way up out of the water. So we need done on zero. See you later. Ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> Totally different animal on the flat. Wow, it's fast. It is fast. Wow. I'll tell you what is lovely, the fact that when I go out and I ride on the ocean, sometimes I'll turn the ski off and just sit and just enjoy the silence. Anytime you stop with this, it's silent. It's a very weird feeling. Oh, apart from that beat. It's a very weird feeling to be out here and have it make no noise whatsoever. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> like how does it do that? So you turn that way, and then yoink, turn back. <laughs> it's wild! It literally, it's literally wild. Yeah, totally different animal on the flat. And the turning is honestly shocking. So I was just doing like 70, 75 kilometers an hour and turning pretty hard. And it's just flat because the batteries are basically the lowest part of the whole ski. All of the weight is down there. And so the center of gravity is low. It doesn't want to roll. It just wants to sit on the water. Wow, very impressive.
All right, we're trying to get a 360 now. Not me, I'm not qualified for that. 180, got it. 360, leave that to the professionals. <laughs> no way! <laughs> That's stupid! Look at how much it dips the nose and then just pulls straight back out again. <laughs> That's so fun. Yeah, I think this is where these really shine is like flat conditions, just playing. 100%. Because yesterday with the waves, it was fun to jump, but the real like party piece of these like you say is how agile and stable they are to just whip around and do stuff they make you feel like you're a way better rider than you are i have no right coming out and being able to immediately you know do a, a 180 that comfortably i think that's the other nice thing i was talking to sam so sam is the ceo of the company he's the founder it's amazing that he's created something from scratch he doesn't come from a background of pwc design and he's made something that's so good first time around and like you say, it appeals to beginners. You can get on this, ride this in range mode. It's fun. You're not gonna kill yourself. You have a great time. But then if you do wanna throw it around a little bit and you are more experienced, bang it in wild, have at it. Is that it? That's it, yeah. yeah we're Boo. Get it well, thank you, little orca. It's been fun. And thank you guys as well. Uh, another thing to say, guys, regardless of the product, the team is amazing. We went out last night, we went and had some drinks, played some arcade games, just super, super nice bunch of guys. And I always think it's important to know the people behind the brands and the products that you use are good people. And I 100% can tell you that these guys are. And they didn't pay me to say that. If I just go this way, I, I'm the only one with wild mode. They're not gonna catch me. Bye. I started this channel to share my adventures and inspire you to go out and find your everyday adventure. I'll never promote anything I wouldn't spend my own money on, and in full transparency, Tiger did pay for my flights and hotels so I could come and test the Orca, along with a bunch of other journalists too. I didn't sign any contracts or agreements saying that I would only speak positively about the product, and at no point did they ask me to say or not say anything during the episode. I'm so excited that the channel is now beginning to afford me these opportunities to check out awesome things like the Orca and take you guys along on these fun adventures. I hope this will be the first of many episodes like this and I can't wait for the next one. So please guys just know when you watch this channel I will only ever be 100% truthful, honest and authentic with you because that is what matters to me the most and I appreciate each and every one of you that subscribes because without you I wouldn't be able to do fun stuff like this. So thanks. Well there you go guys that was my first ever test ride of the Tiger Orca Carbon and honestly completely exceeded my expectations. I came into this thinking they were gonna be a lot of fun, but I wasn't sure how practical they were gonna be and whether it would be a viable product, right? Because electric vehicles, some of them still need a bit of work. These things, awesome. The performance, absolutely phenomenal. When you put it in wild mode, they're insane. The handling is what surprised me the most about them. They're so agile, so flickable, so comfortable at speed as well. And then in terms of range and performance, we just went out for about 45 minutes in wild mode, doing donuts, doing high speed runs. Like I'm, I'm knackered. Like I, I honestly wouldn't have stayed out there for that much longer doing that kind of riding. And I used about 40% of the charge on the ski that I was on. We've got them plugged in now. Gonna go grab some lunch and literally in an hour, 90 minutes maybe, we'll be back up to the charge we had right as we left. So you can use these multiple times during the day with very little amount of downtime. And that was honestly my biggest fear coming into this was that there were gonna be a lot of fun, but there was gonna be a lot of downtime in between. And they seem to have it nailed. We're also not on the super fast chargers here either. So if they put them on the stage three chargers, it'd be done even quicker. So I just think for a lake or to put on the back of your big mega yacht, these things are a complete game changer. Um, so much fun. You can have them at your lake house. You don't have to service them. You don't have to maintain them. You don't have to winterize them. You can just throw them in your boat dock or whatever, cover them up, put them in the garage. And then when you come back to the house, make sure they're plugged in and charged and you're good to go. So it's very exciting to see new companies coming into the space with new technology. Um, and don't get me wrong. I love my internal combustion engine ski. 
but these are so much fun. And so do your research. If you think these are something that would be useful to you, I can 100% say that they will exceed your expectations in every way in how they ride. And like I said out there, the team are amazing. I've had such a great time. So Tiger, thank you so much for inviting me out here. It's been brilliant. Thank you guys for watching. And if you wanna see more of these kinds of test videos, let me know in the comments because I live for this stuff. This has been a blast flying across country to get to test these things out in a place as beautiful as this. It's amazing. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps with the whole YouTube algorithm thing. If you aren't subscribed, I would love to have you as a new subscriber. We're almost at 100,000, getting there very fast as well. So please hit that subscribe button. Share this video with your friends that need one of these in their life. And most importantly, remember, until next time, don't do anything I wouldn't do. See ya.